Good morning, Blue Devil Nation. Here is your weekly announcements with Jasmine Porter, Mia Pasha, and Harrison Levy. Reminder that today, Wednesday, May 5th, is a late start day. Please click the link in the description to see the hybrid learning plan daily schedules. And three announcements, ABC Countdown. Today, Wednesday, is Neon Day for the letter N. Thursday will be Olympics Day O, where U.S. slash country colors. Spanish National Honor Society. Current and newly accepted members. Our last meeting of the year is today at 3.15. We welcome the new members and discuss information regarding the end of the year. See email slash remind for the link. French Club. Join us for the last general French Club meeting of the year. We will host our virtual meeting today, Wednesday, May 5th at 3.15 in our Google Meet. The link is below. Hope to see you there. MECS meeting. There will be, there will, sorry. There will be an MECS meeting today at 3.20 p.m. Wednesday, May 5th, 2021. This will be our last meeting of the year. The link for the meeting can be found on our Canvas site. If you're interested in attending, please email Mr. DeRay or Mr. Boncher for the link. Stop Asian Hate with International Club. Join the International Club, International Club and representatives from our South Asian Student Association today at 3.05 to discuss the history of anti-Asian harassment, issues at Warren, and action steps. The link is below. Warren Reads. Attention Warren Reads. We'll be meeting virtually today, Wednesday, May 5th, after school to discuss Illuminae. Mrs. Kubik named Warren Township High School's Gurney Teacher of the Year. Congratulations to Mrs. Robin Kubik for being named Warren's Gurney Teacher of the Year. Mrs. Kubik was nominated by our colleagues this year and has been teaching at Warren for 14 years. Ms. Kubik has taught a variety of social studies classes throughout her years, and students benefit from, greatly from her positive attitude and enthusiasm in the classroom. Congratulations, Mrs. Kubik. And for O-Plane announcements, United States Army virtual visit. This Thursday, May 6th, Sergeant Steph Sevilla from the United States Army will be hosting an informational virtual visit, visit for students interested in from 11.30, for, sorry, she'll be hosting a meeting from 11 to 11.30 a.m. Sign up if you want to learn more about the Army, the enlistment process, ROTC, the GI Bill, tuition assistance, and more. So interested students can be signed up by the end of the school day to receive the link to attend. Registration information will be found in WTA's email. And for all the, all the announcements, Liberation Day celebration. Hey seniors, want to celebrate your post-secondary decisions on Friday, May 7th for our annual Declaration Day celebration? For in-person students, stop by the table outside the Almond Gym from 1015 to 215 with the fill out your college, get, college caps with your intended plan and career path. Don't forget to wear your college apparel, take a picture with the Blue Devil, and send a DM to Blue Devil Seniors with your intentions. Congratulations, class of 2021. Baseball. On Wednesday, the Devils defeated Lake Zurich 8-4. Adam Behrens was 2-3, Ryan Risch was 2-4 with two RBIs. Michael Rivera earned the win, and Adam Schiltz got the save. Warren had two tough games against Lake Zurich on Monday and Tuesday, losing 4-3 and 8-7. This week, they play Stevenson on Monday and Tuesday. They take on McHenry on Wednesday and finish off the doubleheader against Wakanda on Saturday. Boys Lacrosse. The Blue Devil Laxers had a great weekend. Varsity went 2-0, beating rival Libertyville 6-3 and shutting out Barrington 11-0. This is possibly the first Varsity shutout in school history. Not verified, but what an awesome defeat. The JV squad went 1-1, one one, also beating Libertyville and losing a very close one to Barrington in the final minutes of the game. This week, we have three games against Lakes, Mundelein, and Antioch with more opportunities to get better. Girls Lacrosse. Girls Lacrosse took on two opponents this past week. JV tied on Wednesday home against Libertyville with a final score of 4-4. JV scored against Deerfield away on Friday. Varsity had a solid showing on Wednesday against Libertyville, coming out at the start with a constant draw control and a tied score at the half. Our team keeps displaying superb work and a positive attitude and showing vast improvements in every game. Seven players scored goals, but Varsity lost 18-9. Varsity took on Deerfield away on Friday despite a frustrating game win with questionable calls. Varsity played hard and successfully ran our first play. We are scrappy little piranhas that go down with the fight. Seven different players again racked up 10 goals. Final score was Deerfield 21-10. Girls Lacrosse has a rigorous schedule this week, taking on McHenry at home on Tuesday, and his games away Wednesday at Mundelein and a rematch Thursday versus Vernon Hills. Girls Soccer. The varsity team had a very busy week. On Monday, they defeated Deerfield 3-1. Sam Pollins, Ella Skelton, and Lisa Matamore all scored for the Devils. On Tuesday, they defeated Wakanda 2-0. Ella Skelton scored both goals. Trish Georgiou had two saves. Friday and Saturday was at the Glenbrook South Quad. They tied Loyola on Friday 0-0. In the first game Saturday, they also tied Buffalo Grove 0-0. In the last game, they defeated Glenbrook South 5-0, taking second place. 
Ella Skelton had a hat trick for Warren. Emily Soriaga and Sam Pollins each scored a goal. Micah Smith had three saves. They play Lakes on Tuesday. Softball. It was a big week for Warren softball. They smoked Stevenson 21-0. They took it to Waukegan 14-1. Next was a dramatic win over Fremd 7-6 with a walk-off home run in the bottom of the seventh by Emily Craig. On Friday, they trailed Lake Zurich 5-0 before the bat came alive for a comeback 8-5 victory. This week, the Devils are home Monday and Tuesday against Mondelein and Libertyville. On Thursday, they traveled to Barrington. Boys Tennis The boys tennis team capped a solid week of tennis. Facing another tough week, the varsity held their own versus Stevenson and Lake Forest, eventually losing both meets. The team traveled to the tough prospect invite where the three doubles team of Arjun Shaw and Evan Wong finished fourth, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with New Trier in Highland Park. Meanwhile, their teammates Sam Bogat and Sanjeev Condon took fifth place at four doubles. The JV team was victorious for a second week in a row, claiming the Grays Lake North invite. Leading the charge was Carson Zicker and Justin Moran, taking first place at second doubles. The tennis team takes on Lakes on Monday and conference rival Libertyville on Wednesday afternoon before traveling to Lockport and Lakes for weekend tournaments. Boys track and field. Varsity lost 80-67 to to Stevenson on Monday. JV lost 72-60. to They run this week at home versus Mundelein and Libertyville on Monday and then have an invite on Saturday at Round Lake. Luke Wiley, Griffin Pasha, and freshman Ryan Motes will all participate in the Distance Night at Palatine, featuring the fastest distance kids in the state of Illinois. And now on to Harrison for more Blue Devils sports coverage. Girls Track and Field. Warren Girls Track and Field hosted their first dual meet of the 2021 season and first dual meet in a year and a half. The dual meet was against Stevenson High School. They lost on the varsity level by a nail biter of 6 points, 67 to 61, and on the JV level by a score of 77 to 32. Highlights from our first meet include that Natalia Harris, Ania Epps, Alani Matias, Alyssa Garcia, Maddie Tyler, Emily Townsend, Ama Bofi, Katie Walkland, Isabella Widower, Dara Satan, Caitlin Moran, Grace Metcalf, Carolina Martinez, Faith Gaston, Anastasia Grodaskava, Madison Firgrua, Serena Benton, Kylie Florence, Bree Gehring, and Mia Pasha competed in their first high school meet or their first meet since freshman year. Along with that, Varsity won 9 out of 17 events. JV not only won, but swept 3 events. Warren Girls Track and Field placed 3rd out of 8 teams at the D117 Early Bird Invite at Antioch. Some meet highlights, but not all, including Isabella Asivar competed in her first varsity meet in pole vault, along with Wayland, Townsend, and Tyler in the 4x800, 4x10 team placed first. Nikki Harrison competed in three distance events, with second place in the 800. Mia Pasha and Taylor Latza both scored in the 320s. Kayla Glickley competed in four events, including third in long jump and third in the 200 meter dash. Alila de did a uh, Lila did a uh, ten won the hundred hurdles. Jessica Randolph placed Jessica Randolph placed third in the hundred meter dash, four by two hundred getting second place with Izzy Widower, Caroline Martinez and Faith Gaston in their first varsity meet. Maddie Hackard continuing her undefeated streak in the four hundred and two hundred by winning both events. Katie Walkland competed in her first varsity meet. Freshman represented well. 4x400 four getting third after a long day of events. Overall girls, overall, girls rock the first invite of this track season. This week, they have a try meet on Monday against Libertyville and Mundelein. On Friday, they compete in the Lakes invite. Boys Volleyball. The teams opened up conference play on Wednesday, and all levels defeated Lake Zurich. This week, they go against Stevenson, Zion, and Antioch. Boys Water Polo. This week, both JV and Varsity played well against Libertyville and Stevenson. However, they lost both games, but the Varsity team was able to score more, more goals on the undefeated Stevenson Varsity team than any, than any other team they have played this year. This week, they play Deerfield, Mundelein, and Lake Forest. Girls Water Polo. It was a tough week for Girls Water Polo. They are looking forward to better results this week against Deerfield and Mundelein. Wrestling. The wrestling team got their season underway this past Friday night at Warren against Lake Forest. After a shortened preseason and a couple of weeks of practice, the wrestlers were excited to get their 
first competition of the year. The varsity did not prevail, however. Zach Dabney, Nevin Mitrovic, and Reyes Gonzalez all had good matches. Colton Stevens and Sam Sellers also wrestled well with having with Sam having an inspiring second period come from behind pin. Janice Lund wrestled her first match in Warren in a Warren singlet and freshman Jameson Tommen won his first varsity match. Finally, Jacob Bolander and Joseph DeVries each had wins at the JV level. This week they go against Lake Zurich. State recognition, Max Florian. Big news from the boys soccer team. Senior Max Florian was named to the IHSSCA and the Chicagoland soccer team all state teams. He was also named to the United Soccer Coaches All-American team. Great job, Max. That is the end to our announcements for this week. Keep working hard and finish the year off strong. Thank you for listening to Wednesday Weekly Announcements presented by the War and Scratch Paper, and have a great rest of your week.